Hello and welcome to Tech Deals $250 gaming computer. This video is all about extreme budget gaming. I'm going to show you how to put together a computer today for $250 that will play most current games at 1080p full HD resolution, 60 frames per second at medium detail or higher. Yes, you heard me right, $250 for a complete machine. Our first stop is going to be eBay. I have got on the screen a pre-searched, pre-sorted list of all of the i5 2400 based computers priced lowest to highest. A link to this will be in the video description below so that you don't have to go search for this. And if you find my video useful, please use my link below. I would greatly appreciate it. The i5-2400 is a second generation 4-core processor running at 3.1 GHz from Intel. The current chips are 6th generation running it up to 3.3 GHz. This is not quite as fast as the current chips, but in gaming it's pretty close. You're going to be between 10-20% to 20 slower using one of these machines rather than a brand new one, but it's a whole lot less expensive. The first part of this video is I'm going to go through these listings and show you what to look for, what to buy, what not to buy in terms of the computer, and also what I look for in sellers. Then I'm going to show you what I would add to the machine to turn it into an awesome $250 gaming computer. First things first, what to avoid. Let's avoid all of the small form factor PCs. I'll click on this one, you can see it zoomed in. This is called a small form factor machine. Take a look at that. You cannot install a graphics card anywhere in there. They're too small. Taking a look at this, it is very thin. It's very small. There is no room back there for a graphics card. You do not want any of the small form factor PCs. This Lenovo Think Center, also small form factor. Now they look cheap, but as you scroll down, you'll see that the prices slowly come up, not too much, until we find our first mini tower case, this Lenovo Think Center right here, you can tell just based upon the shape of the case. Coming over here, I want to show you this machine, $120 for an HP Compact 8200. This is actually a mid tower case, it's not even a mini tower, it's a mid tower, that's a fairly big case. That's all right, it has all the room in the world to install graphics cards. Taking a look inside, you have full PCI Express slots to install a graphics card, and we even have a case fan for cooling. I like this machine. Four memory slots. Why is that important? This machine comes with four gigabytes of RAM. Four gigabytes could be used in 2016. I don't recommend it. This needs to be upgraded. Most of these machines come with four. Most need to be upgraded to eight. Some have two RAM slots, some have four. It's worth looking at the pictures and description to make sure it has the room. This has four RAM slots. You can easily add four gigabytes of RAM. I'll show you that listing in a minute. And we have lots of room to add additional storage. If you want, it comes with a small hard drive right there. Taking a look at the listing, we have four gigs of RAM, 250 gigabyte hard drive, and no operating system. Most of these machines have been wiped clean because they used to be corporate machines. There are thousands and thousands of these coming off of lease from large corporations who bought thousands and thousands of them and they're now all being sold on eBay, most of them with no operating system. Many of them will still have the Windows 7 Certificate of Authenticity on the top, but they will not come with a Windows 7 install CD. Now, you can either make your own by downloading the files off of the internet or you can buy a Windows 7 CD for a couple of dollars off of eBay. A lot of sellers sell them for three to five dollars if you would like a Windows 7 install CD. You also have the option of buying a cheap copy of Windows 10, which we'll cover in a minute. One more machine I want to show you is this one, Dell Optiplex 790 MT. I own two of these. I love this machine. It's a good size. It's a toolless case. It is very easy to open up. There's multiple USB ports on the front. There's multiple USB ports on the back. It's got eight USB ports total, VGA. It does have integrated display port, although it's an older one, and toolless case, easy handle for opening the side of it. These are wonderful machines. I have these in my office. They, they run Windows wonderfully. Now, this computer is being sold by a seller I would have no problem buying from. Let me just tell you, I have no affiliation with any of the sellers that you're looking at in this video. In fact, these listings may not exist when you watch this video, which is why the link in the video description below will not take you to this listing. They will take you to the full 
search and you'll have to pick through the listings yourself because they change every day. Take a look at the seller, 99.7% positive feedback, 42,571 feedback, top rated plus. This is a serious professional seller. I would have no worries that what I order is gonna show up just as they promise or they'll make it right. Furthermore, taking a look at their feedback, take a look at this. Member since 1999. They've been on eBay for 17 years. When I'm looking at computers, first you have to decide, is this the computer I want? Then you have to decide, is this the seller I want? Let me show you a seller not to buy from. And apologies if you're this seller, but I'm sorry, this is not a listing I would buy from. Dell Optiplex 790 MT. Almost the same machine, except this one has eight gigs of RAM. What a deal. Well, not really. Jacob Parts PC with 26 feedback, only 96% positive. Clicking on their feedback, they've been a member for three months and they already have negatives and neutrals. I would not buy a computer from a seller such as this. I just have no assurance of what I'm really going to get. Furthermore, if you look at the pictures, that looks an awful lot like they're sitting in a garage and that's sitting on their living room carpet. I just wouldn't buy a computer from a seller with 26 feedback who's been a member for three months when you can buy one who has 42,000 feedback and has been a member for 17 years. Furthermore, take a look at the price. $99 plus shipping, 160 plus shipping. Yes, it has eight gigs of RAM, but eight gigs of RAM costs less than $25, or actually four gigs of RAM costs less than $25. So there's no need to buy a listing such as that when you can buy a listing such as that. So those are two examples of the type of machine that I would look for on eBay with an i5-2400 processor. Moving on to the graphics card. This would be one of my top choices of a graphics card to install, the MSI RX 460 2GB card, $100. Yes, there are 4GB cards, but I think in a 5-year-old budget-oriented machine, a 2GB card makes plenty of sense. However, if you want to spend $20 more, you can absolutely get a 4GB card that will fit. I have one of those right here. $120 for a 4GB VisionTech RX 460. Now, I picked out these two cards for a very specific reason. Take a look at the picture and where the PCI Express slot ends and where the end of the graphics card is. Many of these pre-built machines do not have a lot of room inside of them. Drive cages are in the way, cables coming off the motherboard are in the way. This VisionTech card and this MSI card I can promise you will fit into virtually any of these machines. Let me show you what won't fit. This power color card. Now I would love to recommend this power color. I have nothing against power color. I have nothing against the card. However, take a look at the card itself. Look at where the PCI Express slot ends and look where the card ends. Even though it only has one fan, it's a much longer card. Now why would I love to recommend it? It's $80 after mail-in rebate. Now, I don't like mail-in rebates either, but it is what it is. However, this is not going to fit in all the pre-builds. I own several RX 460 cards, two of which won't fit in my smaller pre-built machines because the cards are too long. This is an example of a card that's too long, which is why I recommend either this Vision Tech or this MSI because the card length is the right length. There you go. You can see right there the card ends. Now the plastic shroud extends a little bit, but it angles up and this fits into all of my pre-builds. I don't have any of my pre-builds that this does not fit into. Links to both this MSI 2 gigabyte card and this VisionTech 4 gigabyte card will be in the video description below to both Amazon and to Newegg. If you buy either one of them and you find this useful, use my links. Thank you. Now one more option for a video card is this one the GeForce GTX 1050 Mini. Now this one is from Zotac for $110. This will also fit into virtually any of these mini tower pre-built systems because you can see that the printed circuit board does not extend much further beyond the PCI Express slot itself. This card is $10 more expensive than the two gigabyte MSI RX 460 and $10 less expensive than the four gig VisionTech card. Performance-wise, 
It's a little bit faster than the RX 460, but not much. You aren't going to notice it. It really doesn't make a lot of difference. Pick your personal preference, GTX 1050 or RX 460. They're both very, very close in performance. Now, if you want to spend $10 more, you also have the EVGA 1050 super clocked card. This runs at a higher clock speed and is another 5 to 10% faster than the other options. So if you want a little bit more performance, you can certainly spend 120. Now system RAM, I mentioned that this computer, most of these computers come with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now there are exceptions, you can find some with 8, but most come with 4. You can buy 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 2 plus 2 gigabyte kit, for about $23, $24. There will be a link on this full list here, searched, sorted by lowest priced uh, in the video description below. Make sure you buy DDR3, not DDR4. These are five-year-old machines. They all use DDR3. Which one of these you buy doesn't really matter so long as it's at least DDR3-1333, which is what most of these machines used. You can use faster, don't use slower. So that is system RAM, and that is the computer, and that is the video card. $120 with free shipping, plus $100 for a graphics card, plus $25 for the RAM, puts us at a total of $245. $250 gaming machine. That computer, as it sits, will play Grand Theft Auto V at high detail at 60 frames per second at 1080p. How cool is that? Most of these machines do not come with a copy of Windows installed. Now, you can certainly install Windows 7 on most of them. Most of these computers have the Windows 7 Certificate of Authenticity sticker still sitting on them. If you get a Windows 7 Restore CD or Reinstall CD from the manufacturer, you can put Windows 7 back on them. If you really want a physical CD, you have the option to buy something such as this listing right here. All this person has done is they've taken the ISO image, the industry standard uh, organization image of Windows 7, burned it onto a disk, and offered to mail it to you. This is something you can absolutely do yourself, but if you simply want it to show up and work without having to mess around with it, you have the option of this. There are many of these on eBay. They want $8 with free shipping, and they offer you the option of shipping you an all versions disk, and again, you can make an all versions disk yourself. I've done that myself. So if you don't know whether the computer you're going to receive is going to have a professional sticker or a home premium sticker on the top of it, you don't have to worry about it because you have a disk with all versions on it. Microsoft used to allow you to download this yourself from their site for Windows 7. They don't anymore. They do on Windows 10. You can absolutely download Windows 10 from Microsoft, but it will not be an activated copy. And if you do a clean install of Windows 10 on one of these machines, it will not be activated. The free upgrade period has ended. If you wish to buy a copy of Windows 10, this is where I would send you kingwin.net. Kingwin is a key reseller. This is the eBay of license keys. I have bought many, many product keys, including five Windows 10 professional keys from Kingwin myself. I've mentioned them in previous videos. My $4,000 ultimate computer build system is running Windows 10 professional using a key purchased from Kingwin. Now, they're currently running about $28 for keys. I won't go into too much detail because I've covered this in a previous video, which I will link in the video description below. But let me just say that inexpensive Windows keys can be purchased from various sources online if you are interested. There are less expensive options besides Kingwin. This is an example of one listed out of Great Britain on eBay. I've not personally bought any Windows 10 keys off of eBay, so I'm not going to speak to how well that works. I'd be very picky about the seller that I buy from. This particular seller is probably okay with 7,300 feedback, top rated plus in 99.8%, and it costs less. In fact, I might even link to this one in the video description below. Take a look at it, read the details. It's something you want to do once you've actually looked at and understand what you're buying. You will have to make a Windows 10 USB thumb drive. I will put a link to how to do that in the video description as well. There's going to be a lot of links in the video description. The short version is go take a look at the video description. So this has been how to put together a $250 1080p gaming computer on a budget. 
Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't remember to subscribe to my channel using the big huge red button directly below this video. Questions and comments in the comment section. And as always, check out the video description. I'm gonna have a lot of links down there to all the things I talked about. How to create a Windows 10 USB thumb drive video will be down there and many more. Go check out the video description. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.